Good morning, Trotty Catty. Have you got your bag of drugs? Is that good? Oh, it's nice. Nice. Oh, and hot cross bun. Lovely. Matilda, do you like hot cross buns? Good morning, proper. Yes, I am in my nighty. It's from Marks and Spencers, I think. Mum got it for me. It's quite soft. It's nice. <laughs> um. Anyway, happy Saturday to you. It is Saturday here. I'm presuming it's Saturday where you are. It might not be. I don't know. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Um. It's good Saturday. Mediocre Saturday. It's the day after Good Friday. And the day before Bad Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday, obviously. So yesterday uh, I didn't do much. I um, had some buns, hot cross buns. They are kind of a bit of my like Achilles heel, that one, especially when they're bought from Waitrose and they're the apple and cinnamon ones. Like, oh, they're so good. <coughs> so yeah, had a bun yesterday another one this morning as you saw and um mum wanted fish and chips so we had fish and chips as well so i was like if i'm gonna eat carbs i'm gonna have fish and chips i didn't have the batter though i had a batterless fish there we go because <laughs> that makes all the difference but that was nice and um what else did i do yesterday just watch some telly binge watch some telly it was nice it was like a, a kind of a day off Although I have been doing some of my uh, accounts because it's nearly year end. And was it? So a week to go, isn't it? Until year end ish. And um, there's some there's some results. Like, <laughs> uh, without counting up my um, cash expenses. So the things that, you know, you buy from car boot sales or from antique shops that, that don't take card and things like that. And like, whenever I've had to <coughs> just buy something up with my own cash rather than on my business card. So, yeah, anyway, the, the stuff that, that so far that, so I haven't included that stuff. I'm pointing up there because it's up there. £27,000 so far in expenses. Yes, that includes most postage apart from Etsy. But uh, yeah, and that does not include fees. I quickly had a look at my um, eBay for the year so far. Obviously, I haven't printed off the proper report yet because it's not year end. But it's looking at around about £15,000 in eBay fees. <laughs> I could see why people are, are like, just waited on Vinted Pro because that is like, ouch. Like... Yeah, you're going to be losing people, eBay, you really are. But hey-ho, hey-ho, we plod on, don't we? Right, um, I say that, I complain about, oh, I'm not complaining, I'm just stating that that is what's happened. Um, and yeah, I've had 14 sales on um, eBay and uh, five on Etsy to go out. Um, it's quite nice, like a couple of days, That like that's since Thursday. So like, I'm okay with that. And then I still got all my whatnot orders to take up to the postie. So um, yeah, so I'll be back in a bit with what's going out. And um, and then I should get dressed and, you know, reasonably presentable and actually go do the post. Maybe go somewhere, but I'm not sure where yet. We'll have a think. You have a think, I have a think. And we'll confluence, confer. Confluence is two rivers. We'll uh, we'll do that. Not that. Um, in a minute. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so this is what is going out. We've got a Swarovski penguin in a top hat. How, how smart does he look? That's how all penguins, that's how everyone should dress. Anyway, that sold for 19 pounds and 19 pence. An Agatha Paris Edwardian negligee style necklace. Agatha Paris is, is, a, is a nice brand to look out for, but there you go. Pretty, pretty. I got that one from my second Leon buying trip, um, and that's over $24.99. Uh, some Franz Bruning Art Deco rolled gold earrings. They sold for £14.39. Some opal triplet cufflinks. So a triplet as well as onyx, and then opal, and then a layer of quartz crystal. And they sold for $19.99. Um, another one for my second Leon buying trip. This is a little, could be an earring, could be a dress clip, could be a pendant. Um, but it says made in France on the back and it's this little kind of pearly arrow. And that's all for $14.99. And um, that is also going aboard somewhere apparently. Cool sale on eBay, an antique sovereign case, um, pocket watch chain fob, Victorian chunky brass. Um, I did say that it was damaged. I put damage in the title and I put it in the description as well. And it's still sold for $79.99. Chuffed with that one. A bizarre one. Some Aston Villa dog tags. They sold for a fiver. A Le Creuset book. This one. I think it probably cost me about 33 pence. It was probably in like a three books for a pound kind of thing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, but that's all for six pounds. This vintage black bass long beaded necklace went for eight ninety nine. This um, ethnic handmade copper um, necklace three pounds nineteen. Been on my shop for a while. That one. This yellow jade, nice um, necklace that went for nineteen ninety nine. A peace of mind little amethyst necklace sold for four pounds seventy nine. A huge job lot of vintage costume jewellery went for £48 and some textured dome clip-on earrings sold for £4 and then over on Etsy we've got some, um, again it's so hard to read the prices, I think £14.99 um, that, doo -doo -doo, oh, I just had a message on there, um, okay, um, some Kit Heath earrings and then I've got this really gorgeous brushed gold. This was sale of the weekend. This lovely brushed gold, nine carat gold bracelet. That sold for, I think it was £290. Chuffed with that one. There's a horned beastie, um, little horned hand charm. That one's from Leon 3, I think. And that's sold for £18. This Etruscan style pendant necklace. That went for, I don't know how much, 19 I think. And then this modernist um, brooch that went for, again, £15. So that's what's going out. It's a lovely sunny day today, which is quite nice. So I've popped up the brackler, I've just done my post. Obviously, I'm going to pop into the charity service as well. One day, one day, I will find something in here to buy. Brand new with tags from Monsoon Ten Pounds. Ten Pounds Monsoon Dress Seven Pounds. Mm -hmm. Cool DVDs. Yeah. And the cows are still here. Well, nothing for me in those two today, but that's okay. Just enjoying the walk past about six dog walkers on the way. Lots of cockapoos and standard poos. I don't know. Anyways, lots of doglets on the way as well. It's quite nice. Oh, 
Isn't it nice to just feel a bit of sunshine? Speaking of sunshine, I don't know if I said, booked a holiday, going on holiday, um, in not long, I don't know how many days it is, but we're going to Lanzarote, yay, so a bit of sunshine, better not bloody rain there, <laughs> but um, nice all-inclusive and um, beach nearby and stuff, so I'm going to look forward to that. Don't worry, still going to Paris as well, God knows how, but uh, oh, just be nice. Anyways, on to the next one. Right, past the bingo hall on the way into town. I'm thinking if it's open, I might pop in and get some pound coins from the change machine. Because if I'm going to car boot sale tomorrow, that could be handy. But that's if this place is open. It looks like it might be. And now it's time to pop into the bigger layers at the top of town. Oh, that's quite all right. Good to check because you never know, they get stuck in all the time. Whole office set there. Mm, no hamster, but they do have a unicorn. Lampshades. Right. And now I'm going to ask them if they got any jewellery for me because you never know. Well, yes, the good egg has saved it for me. All this uh, for 30 pounds. It's probably all junk, but you never know. The point is, sometimes we take a risk and sometimes we find something cool and sometimes we, find we don't. But um, it's going to be fun going through it. I was thinking that, oh, I could get on the bus to Puss Call from here. But to be honest, I don't particularly want to carry you around. What well, feels like about three kilos of jewellery. Yeah, I think we're just gonna head home. Maybe even sit in the garden if it's nice. Crows, come and join my army. You find me jewellery, like magpies do, and I will exchange it for worms. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? No? Ugh, useless. I've just stopped to have a sneaky little look through and I've already seen something that it's all tangled in there, that and that, that's silver with an amethyst it looks like in the middle and that's a bit of Josiah Wedwood. It's all tangled up so I can see why they dumped it all in there but and that looks like it might be a little silver chain as well and that's a bit of silver and then there was this brooch on top, uh, brooch, ba uh, badge. I love it! <laughs> so I'm chuffed already. Looks like a little craft fair thing going on. Well, we're really not to have a little look, see, isn't it? Let's see what it is. Ah, oh, cute little cream egg bunnies. Hiya! Ooh, jams. I can't cheat on my mum's jam, though, she'd kill me. <laughs> It does sound nice. Plum and ginger. Ooh, that sounds there's good. There's Victoria plum jam. Oh. There's plum and ginger. There's gooseberry. Oh, too nice. There's uh, blackberry and slow ginger. Lush. These are all cool. Yeah, I can't. I can't cheat on my mum with the jam. for your dog. Oh, and cakes and things. Oh, that's just naughty. The walks fast Fun little jewelry bits. <coughs> resin things. Well, of course I'll go in the charity shop as well, you never know. 
What else have we got? Clean living stuff. Bath bombs. Macrame. It's so nice getting all these makers out. It's cool. Aww. Back home. Well, that was fun. Big bag of jewellery to go through. Uh, I think last time I had um, had one, there wasn't much in it. There was, but you know, like I said, this is this is what happens, isn't it? <sighs> there is a, a lot of you know funky bits in there, hair bits and. Scarf thingy by the looks of it, and some broken brooches. There's always broken brooches, solo earrings, always, always, always. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna sit down here now, go through it, and I'll show you in a bit what the results are. It's a mucky business. Hands are filthy. But um, mum's just come home from the garden centre. Let's see what she's got. The Trachylosperm and Jasminoides. Well, that's what I thought you were going to get, to be honest. Yes, this one. And a sweet, ah. And that one's going to be lovely against mm -hmm. the wall behind your swing. Behind the swing seat. It's got mum in it. Yeah. Oh, and some sweet nice. William Absolutely. and the Peter and um, uh, green thing, green thing. Yay! Yeah. Okay, so this is the results. That is all of the modern costume jewelry to loft up. That is all the broken stuff, stuff for pearlies, a random thimble, a little watch, some for gemstones. Um, that's for my uh, John Richard lot. I got some badges, a key, some things for my like crosses lot, some um, silver tone pendants, gold tone pendants, key rings. That that's a vintage lot, rings lot, European charms lot. Even though. I was hopeful there for a minute because it says like 925 ALE, but it doesn't test a silver. Those are all the odd earrings. We've got brooches, pendants, broken brooches. That necklace is going into a rockabilly lot. Um, that's for broken vintage. Um, and then we've got it'll interesting bits over here. So this is um, a really cool kind of... Oh God, look at my fingers, they're disgusting. Um, kind of striped pearl. I did know the name for it at one point and I have sold one, but um, I just thought that was nice. And then a couple of uh, real pearl with a little bit of silver bits on it. There's the Wedgwood, which is quite nice. I sold one of these recently as well, like this Scottish pin. That I think will probably be Nephrite Jade. Got a little pair of um, really cute alpaca Mexico um, earrings. This little ring watch, which is really like, it won't work because there's no pin and it's got kind of damage to it. But I look at it first because it, it might be a thing that people want. This little rolled gold padlock, but it looks like it was snipped off the chain. Um, and you can see that there's quite a bit of wear to it, but that's okay. And then I have got some silver. So there was this, um, look, it's very, very tarnished tiger's eye ring a pair of earrings that was the the nice cross that we saw this is a shame really cute little enamel but a lot of the enamels coming off so shame and then these ones they're mother of pearl but i can't really clean them up because they're mother of pearl it'll ruin the pearl by um cleaning it up um that's the silver chain and then we've got earrings and a necklace and then a spare one but the earrings don't really match in size and shape. So I might just have them all as pendants maybe, possibly. And then we've got some scrap silver, some scrap gold, um, a few like ear wires and stuff, surprisingly. And then an actual pair of, I mean, these are tiny and they weigh nothing, but little froggy earrings. 
which are quite cute. But all in all, I'm very happy with that. I mean, that's why it's good to kind of develop nice relationships with your charity shop workers and stuff. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. And of course, for me, I've got my cool badge. <gasps> How in hell's buggery have you gotten in the bathroom, mate? Ah, don't you come at me. How oh, do you unlock these? <coughs> Shit, it's a big bugger. All right, I'm trying to help you. Ah, fuck off. I'm trying to help. I can't get the bloody window open. Ah. Right, now go. Be gone. Fly, be free. Go on, piss off then. Oh, you stupid bloody insect. Get out. Go. <sighs> Wrong way. You twat. Why are insects so stupid? I'll just leave you to it. Well, there you go. That was a fun day. A um, bit of a, a Monday on a on a Saturday. Bank holidays, especially like Easter ones, always like, what day? Anyway, it's all good. Right, um, my plan is now I'm going to get something to eat and then I'm going out tonight. There's um, um, a, a cool band like playing in the local pub. So I said I meet my mates there. And then tomorrow, hopefully up early-ish. Oh, remember clocks go forward tonight. Um, for a car boot. And then we're all having a nice lunch together. And then I've got a mystery jewellery bagging. It's here. Um, they said it's vintage stuff. We shall see. Some people's idea of vintage is different to my idea of vintage, but hey, we shall see. It'll be fun anyways, but that's for tomorrow's What Not Show. So join me then uh, Sunday from 6pm on What Not to see, to see what is not. Anyways, yeah, I'm off now. Bye bye now. Bye bye.